Cubano. Um, obviously, Josh and I have been business partners for what, three years? Yeah, a little almost bit. like a few months, maybe three years. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And then obviously, this is my boy Josh. Needs no introduction, Josh, keep drink, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't know, Josh, you wanna start off? Oh uh, yeah, so what up, guys? Uh, Josh, keep drink, coming to you guys live. What is today, today's Friday? Today is Friday. Today's a Friday, so probably not that many of you guys on here, but the people that are on here, um, one, I appreciate you guys for hopping on, two, you guys are hustlers, because not many people um, are willing to come on live here and actually learn information um, instead of going out and turning up and you know actually doing something productive on a Friday. So consider yourself you know, blessed and lucky uh, for being a select amount of people who are actually like taking action and actually hungry. Oh, yeah. um, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, maybe you watch my Snapchat, maybe you watch my Instagram story, um, how to make money printing cash. Mm -hmm. You know, you might have saw my last live feed about it, maybe you've seen us on YouTube talk about it, but recently, um, the last few months, I have a little bit longer, but um, I got involved in the ATM business, pretty much printing cash and then letting other people print my cash uh, and making money. Um, and it was really confusing at first, to be honest. Um, I did not know what the hell Eric was talking about when he explained the business model to me. Um, and it kind of took me a while to really get it. When I mean, he had to break it down for me, he had to put it in simple steps for me to understand it. Um, but it's kind of crazy now because I just realized that this is literally the only zero risk business. Like, 100% guaranteed there's no risk. Oh, yeah. um, and that's pretty crazy, guys, because um, most of the time, guys, here, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to make money, if you want to be an investor, you got to be willing to take risk. And there's no risk right here. So like, and I, and I kind of just thought about that because I was down to do it no matter what. The business model made sense. Um, the income made sense. And you know everything just made sense. And then I realized after I already got started and started making money, I was like, wait, there's not, of course this made sense. There was no risk. No wonder I was so down to do it yeah. because there was no way for me to lose money. There was no way for me to you know, have it not work because it's simple and it's a proven method. And as long as you're following the right strategies and you know what you're doing, um, you can make money. So I just wanted to hop on. Uh, me and Eric, we met up today. Um, we had a lot of people asking us from the last live feed, like, yeah. dude, like, what the hell is this? Like, dude, hundreds of messages a day, people yeah. asking me about Sorry. it. So um, I was just like, yeah, let's meet up. We had to fill up one of our ATMs in a med uh, medical marijuana, or two of our ATMs, yeah, uh, in a medical marijuana dispensary today. We actually filmed the whole thing. Um, so that will be on YouTube later. But we did that. Um, and so I decided, like, yo, Eric, let's just break down. Let's just go live. Let's kind of explain it since everybody's messaging me on Snapchat and on Instagram, you know, asking me, like, how exactly it works. And um, we wanted to kind of break it down because if you don't do it right, you follow the wrong people, you follow the wrong websites, um, you can get screwed over. That's the only risk For is sure. that if you do it wrong. Yeah. So you wanna make sure you're following a simple method. As long as you do it right, as long as you follow steps that work, then you're gonna um, you know, obviously see results. Right. But in the very beginning, we had a lot of trial and error and we didn't know what we were doing. Um, we, we didn't have a place to look for information. You know, we bought a machine and never even got it delivered. We're, at, <laughs> yeah. we're calling FedEx, you know, you don't believe me. You can you see the video, we filmed it so we can send it to them. Yeah. But we were calling FedEx, we were calling the company and we didn't get a reply back and we were like, what the heck? And then we done some research and we found out that that was actually like a fake website, but we didn't know. So now that we've been through the trials and tribulations, we know like what websites work, what companies, you know, actually, you know, legit. work. Yeah, and are legit and actually have, you know, quality ATMs and instead of, you know, trying to do the um, you know cheap quick get rich quick overnight strategies you realize actually how to build a real business doing this yeah. so we're gonna break it down um, want to kind of yeah over so I just wanted to kind of you know first off you know say I'm not the only one doing this out there so there's people obviously you know running their ATM businesses and they've been doing it. ATMs been out for like 15 20 years um, the cool part about it is that ATMs are cheaper than they've ever been before they were super expensive back then and a lot of older um, <laughs> you know, older people are actually doing this type of business. Yeah. And they've been doing it. Um, yeah. I think I, like most millennials don't know about this. No way. Like, and I don't know if everybody on here is obviously a millennial. Um, you know, probably half of you are not. Maybe the other half are. Mm -hmm. But like nobody really knows about this. You know, we one no of the way. ATMs that we saw the old ATM that was in the uh, super old. Yeah, the marijuana dispensary. Old man, like probably <laughs> 19 something. But it was sitting there, and I was <laughs> like, this old. thing still works. Yeah. You know, like the technology of the ATMs we have compared to the old ones that we've seen in other places. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of like an old people business, but that's why you see old people driving Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Yeah, you know? so. yeah. and I for sure. And so I think uh, the best part about this business is the kind of income that you're going to make with it. And that's obviously, I think everybody knows by now, we should all know if you don't, the best type of income to have is passive income, you know, yeah. ongoing income, income that's coming in 24 hours a day, no matter what you're doing, whether you're yep. spending time with your family, right? You're getting paid. Whether you're, you know, sleeping, you're getting paid, right? Whether you're on vacation, you're getting paid. Whether you're partying, guess what? You're getting paid. Whether you know, you're making babies, right? You're getting paid, getting right? Paid. So uh, we all know passive income is the best one. That's the cool thing about the business is that uh, the ATM business is gonna give you that passive income coming in. And um, it's really, it can turn into lifetime income. 
Yeah. You know, as long as the businesses stay open, yeah. right? It's really and lifetime income. That's, that's why there's essentially no risk because you just put it there. As long as as long as a business has customers, even if it has one customer a day, yeah, sure. you're gonna make money. And here's a cool thing about it too: um, this business compounds. So the longer you have an ATM operating, the more money you're gonna make. Right. Because here's why: you know, have you guys ever went to a barber shop? And for example, I used to go to this barber shop um, over here in Irvine, right down the street, yeah. and they have no ATM. I have to literally walk across the street to a whole different shopping center just to get money to get my hair cut. Right. Because most people don't just carry cash around them. You know, there's no reason to. No. And um, to this day, they still don't have an ATM. So now I know, I don't, instead of just going to the barber shop and walking over to the bank to get money before I go. Yeah. But if I realize that, hey, next time I go, there's an ATM in there, I'm gonna be like, okay, I don't have to drive three miles. I don't have to walk across the street. I can just go, walk in, pull my money out, and get my hair cut. So as more customers and repeat customers start to realize that there's ATMs inside their business, then you're, it's you know, yeah, the money that you make, the income that you make, and the transactions that the ATM will be doing, it's gonna compound, and it can really three, four, five, or even 10X. Yeah, so. and, and just, just to say that, uh, actually, I've been getting my hair cut from the same barber shop for the past 15 years. Still only cash only, mm -hmm. right? Um, they have no ATM actually, you know, discussing putting one in there actually today. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, I think the other day I was in there and I, I didn't have, I was late to my appointment, mm -hmm. right? Um, I didn't end up going to the, the bank because I was gonna be late to my appointment. And um, I asked him, yo, um, where's the nearest ATM? He's like, oh, it's literally two businesses up at the donut shop. They have <laughs> an ATM there. And it was like an old ATM. Yeah. So I got to get an ATM in this barber shop. So that's happening in the works. but. The thing about it is that not just the ATM, ATM is obviously going to make you money in a business, for example, a barbershop, mm -hmm. but if you market your ATM, I haven't really talked about this, but you can actually market your ATM machine, meaning yeah. people from, not people that just go inside the business, people just say, hey, I need cash, they have an ATM, right. they go inside and use it as well. Right, right. You know, so there's different ways to market your ATM, I go into that a little bit mm -hmm. uh, later on, but. You can even do mobile ATMs and take it to certain places for certain events. Um, Fairgrounds. Yeah. They're called event machines. Yeah. yeah. Event machines. So High basically. Cool places. Yeah. So obviously we're in the OC right now. They have Orange County Fair. Right. right. Um, they have the LA Fair. Right. They have a lot of food markets. Right. So yeah. you can actually get in contact with the people that run those fairs and place your ATM in the fairgrounds. And I tell you this right now, it is basically will go crazy because all those all <laughs> those vendors of food and everything like that, yeah. it's all cash. I mean, we all been yeah. to fairs. It's all cash. Right. Probably and so. Um, like I said, cash is always gonna be king no matter what. I know they talk about, you know, Bitcoin, right, and crypto, and which is great, right? But I'll tell you this. There's risk involved. There's risk involved for sure, and a lot of businesses are ran by older people. Yeah. And older people aren't really gonna be um, accepting Bitcoin, not for a while, <laughs> yeah. you know? So, I mean, that's a millennial thing, you know, for yeah. sure. You know, so businesses haven't really adapted to that yet, and it's gonna take some time to get there, because Bitcoin, cryptocurrency has a lot of yeah. things they have to figure and, out too. And the reality is that there's Bitcoin ATMs as well. Mm -hmm. So. Well, gonna, if it ever does, yeah. once it starts yeah. you know, becoming high, more high cash flow, um, you best believe that we're going to be the first ones on it, the first ones utilizing it. For sure. Um, and then we're going to be getting paid free Bitcoin or yeah. Bitcoin. <laughs> pretty dope, pretty dope. But like I said, today I want to talk about, show you the bigger picture behind the ATM business. Um, because a lot of people say, oh, okay, cool. That's, I mean, that's some cool money, you know, yeah. dope, which it is. You can turn it into a part time income or you can turn it into a full time income, right? right? And the cool thing about this business is that you can do it whether you have a full time job. So if you're out there and you have a full time job, you can still manage your ATM business, right? Yeah. Or if you're having a part time job, you wanna make more money, this can definitely make more money well, a part time for job. Example, for example, sure. like, we don't have jobs, but you know, we have multiple other businesses that we run. Um, you know, we work online, so we have online businesses, things we scale, VAs, we have a media agency. So these are all actual businesses, but it took us maybe 20 minutes today to literally go to two different shops, marijuana shops that we have ATMs in, and fill it up. And each time it took uh, us maybe 30 seconds to fill up the machine. And most of the time, we yeah. don't even usually do it. Yeah. We just did it so that we can show you guys how it works, and, it, you know, yeah. and put YouTube content out there, and, you know, just kind of you know, do that for you guys. But literally, you can pay somebody you know, 10 bucks to do it. Yeah. It, it takes, doesn't take long, doesn't at, long all, at all. You know? so, um, so basically what I got for you guys here is basically, I want to show you that it doesn't take a lot of ATMs to make a lot of money. A lot of people think, man, I need to have so many ATMs yeah. to make a ton of money, and that's just not true. And I'll show you the actual difference right now. Because obviously for me, what I learned a long time ago is that girls lie, right? <laughs> guys lie, for sure we lie. But the one thing that doesn't lie is numbers, right? Numbers never yeah. lie, no matter what, right? So I got some numbers for you guys, so I can actually go through them with you and show you the bigger picture behind the ATM business. So what I got here is, let's just say, you're out there and you want to make some part-time income, right? Cool, ATM business is definitely for you. Let's just start you off with one ATM. I think that's pretty simple, right? I think yeah. you can get one ATM in one business. <clears throat> and what I did is that, for example, for this example, at least for my ATMs, I charge four bucks, okay? Four bucks yeah. uh, for the fee that covers everything I need for the machine. And uh, basically, 
um, one ATM, right? Uh, doing 25 transactions a day. Right? That's pretty, that's pretty uh, modest. Yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of times you can do a lot more. But but think about how many people go through a barbershop a day. Yeah, right. Well, I think we did the numbers, like 50 to 60 people a day for an hour barbershop. Per, yeah, my, my barber goes to like 20 people a day. Yeah. You know, so it's crazy, that's just one barber. So I know how busy barbershops get, so check this out. 25 transactions a day, keep it modest, 25, right? With a $4 fee, basically meaning every time somebody takes money out of your machine, your machine's gonna charge them $4, okay? That's 100 bucks a day yeah. on autopilot, right? That's which is pretty cool. Times by 30 days, $3,000 a month. That's, that's pretty uh, cool. Let me put that in perspective. That's my GTR payment. That's Dope. my BMW payment. Dope. That's my GTR rent. Dope. That's my BM or not rent, but insurance. <laughs> and that's my BMW insurance. And then I still got 500 bucks left. <laughs> Dope, right? You're gonna put that back into your machine. Yeah. <laughs> um, so check it out. So $3,000, I would say it's, it's, it's not a lot of money, right? Have more spending money, that's maybe a Lambo. vacation. That's a right? Lambo payment. If you guys didn't know, if you want to lease a Lambo, it's about 3,000 a month. Dope. Right, let's go lease a Lambo, for sure, right? <laughs> um, but maybe there's people out there, that, you know what, $3,000 is really cool, but I wanna make more than that, right? For this, you know, for this, for, for me to do it, I wanna make, you know, a lot of money. Right. Which is cool, right? So you think if you have to make a lot of money, right, you need a lot of ATMs. Not true. Three ATMs, okay? Same thing, 25 transactions a day. At a cool. modest level, again. Yeah, <laughs> at a modest level. That's 300 bucks a day, times 30. Look, it's $9,000. A month. Residually. A month. And to put it in perspective, some of the, so we have, we just got two marijuana dispensaries that we put ATMs in, we have 28 more to go. Uh, we do, did a contract for 30 machines, 30 different locations. Um, if you didn't know, the marijuana business is a cash only business. So everybody that goes in needs cash. Um, we've had these doing, doing like literally sometimes, especially on the weekend, over 100 transactions a day. Yeah, for sure. It's going through. 100 transactions a day. Do the numbers on that. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's insane. So, um, Obviously, numbers don't lie, so I just put those out for you. Um, these are pretty good incomes. I don't care who you are out there, an extra three grand a month, I'm down, yeah. right? I would never say no to no more free money. Free money, right? it's free, there's no risk. Right, for sure. So it's like, it's just like, you can have money sitting in your bank account, or you're gonna have money making you $3,000 a month. What I've realized is this is the only like business where the actual literal definition of have your money make you money is like literal. Because you know, you yeah. say that for you know to invest in the businesses, to run ads, and yes, that's making you money. But this is also going on. You know, this triggers A, that triggers B, that triggers C, that triggers D, and it potentially makes you money or potentially loses you money. Right. This is the only business model that I can think of. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, that the actual literal definition is your actual money, your actual cash is actually making you money. Yeah, for sure. Because I think about every business that I start with you. I mean, we put thousands and thousands of dollars in, and it wasn't for sure we we're going to get it back or not. Right? That's what you just have to, that's how business works. But with this business, look, your, your money's either sitting in a safe, right? Um, yeah. Basically your ATM, mm -hmm. or it's making you money. Yeah. Either one, either you're making money or you're keeping your money. And the thing with this too is, um, it's a very like easy and simple thing to get into if you know how. Um, literally anybody can do it. You can do it if you're a college student, you can you do know it. How. Yeah, if you, as long as you know how, you can do it if you're already making a lot of money. Like I saw one of my buddies comment, um, just right now, he makes over seven figures doing Amazon FBA. And he says he's been looking into doing it, but he just he just doesn't know how to do it yet. So he's gonna, he's just gonna watch the replay. Dope. So that's you know he makes a lot of money. He can use that money to make more money. So you know if you're sm just anybody that's smart and has an IQ above average <laughs> is uh, this will work for you. Yeah, for sure. So what I wanted to go over too is uh, basically uh, types of locations, right? That obviously do the best. That I think from experience do the best. Um, barbershops, we talked about barbershops, right? Mm -hmm. um, salons, parking lots do really well. So if you guys uh, get a hold of a parking lot um, owner, right? That would definitely be a good idea. Dispensaries, obviously, um, I'm doing dispensaries as well. Strip clubs, um, you know, <laughs> they rock out. Uh, hotels, basically, that have 100 plus rooms or more. So obviously, people come from different cities, different countries at hotels. Yeah, they, they definitely don't have their bank <laughs> here. So they have yeah. to use an ATM, right? And just so you guys know, I have a lot of people ask me, ATM is an international business. So just because we're in the US right now doesn't mean you can't do this, this anywhere else. Look, when we travel, right? We go to Thailand, we're going to Thailand in March, right? They're going to have ATM machines there for sure, right? We you, can even, you can even live in a different country and operate a machine out here. Absolutely, right? Europe have ATM machines, right? So it's not just America that has ATM machines. ATM machines have been around forever and a lot of countries have them as well, okay? And you can, we live in a world, guys, where you guys obviously follow us, you guys see that we make money online, you see that we have online businesses. You can run your ATM from your phone. Yeah, I have like, that. You run your ATM from your phone. It's, it's, 
I mean, it's not an online business, but you can run it online. That's the cool thing about you know where we're at today is that you can be in the gym and you're managing your machines. Yeah. You know, you can be at work on break managing your machines. You can be in school managing your machines. Um, it takes a few minutes a day just to check your app and see how everything's going. Yeah, it takes so a I few get, hours a, a month to you know maintain and upkeep your machines. Yeah, absolutely. I have an app. It basically shows <clears> notifications. <throat> if uh, shows me the balance, how much is in my machine. Um, shows me when it's full on cash, which is pretty cool. And uh, shows me the transactions in real time. What's yeah. happening, which is pretty cool as hell. Yeah, yeah. So um, back to the locations. Uh, liquor stores are obviously good. Fairgrounds. I talked about fairgrounds are really good. If you can get in contact with the owner of a fairground, you're gonna make guap. Um, <laughs> bars. Obviously, we all know bars. Um, and nightclubs, we obviously see ATMs already in nightclubs as well. So um, these are definitely you know locations that um, I think are best uh, for people to look for when you actually start your ATM business. You right. Know? And so uh, I think a ton of people ask like, yo, so yeah, people want to know, you know, startup, you know, yeah. capital. What's the process of getting started, you know, with your ATM business? So how much money does it cost? How can you get started? Is it possible to get you know free machines? Is it possible like what you know? How does this whole thing actually work? So. Uh, different paper? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, so basically, money, right? Yeah. Obviously, your machines cost money, right? Um, and you know, we, I learned this a long time ago that there's three different types of money, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that you can use. One is your own, right? Right. Let's put it up. So yeah. the thing is, or I should write down. Let's see. So what, what we say? I mean, the average machine. Um, you know, I see some people asking like, how much the machine costs. It depends on what you know, type of machine you're using, what type of quality. Um, we use, have, use, yeah, new. Yeah, new, use. Um, we have recommendations for the you know, best and the safest ones to protect your money. Yeah, um, sure. So it really just depends. But I actually recommend getting free machines. And you're probably like, wait, what? How do I get free machines? Uh, we have certain strategies that we talk about um, in our system. We'll kind, of, we'll kind of break them down a little bit right now. But how you can actually get free machines so you have even more money for your ATMs. So check this out. Okay, for sure. So one way to pay for your machine is you, your own money, right? So if you have money in the bank, cool. So I'm making money, invest into a machine for sure, right? Uh, OPM. OPM, right? Uh, this, is, this is my favorite type of money, guys. It's called OPM. Um, you guys been following me for a while. You might have seen me talk about credit. You might have seen how to leverage. Um, you know, how I've been able to get my Nissan GTR for the lowest rate possible at my age and get approved. How my roommate been able to get a Lamborghini. He's about to get a Lamborghini Aventador. Um, sometime next week, it's about five hundred thousand for a car like that. How old usually, you? Uh, twenty-two years old. Crazy. So that's leveraging Insane. OPM, and you're, you're leveraging. Here's the reason. So there's a common misconception. A lot of people think that debt is bad. No. OPM means other people's money. Mm -hmm. So what other people's money can be a loan from the bank. It could be a credit card. Um, there's tons of different ways you can you know categorize uh, OPM. But a lot of people think, oh, debt's bad. I'm already getting bad. Debt is bad if you're buying, you know, designer stuff. You know, if you're buying stuff like this with a credit card and you get in debt and you can't run your business, yeah. um, that's bad. But if you're using your debt, you know, OPM to make more money every day, that's actually really smart. Yeah, you'd actually be stupid um, to not try to get things for free. So we want to show you guys how to get free machines. Yeah, for sure. So one is obviously the one thing is the bank, right? Now banks, right? Um, are pretty like I said. It depend on your credit, right? Oh, yeah. So depending on your credit, um, that's how the bank's really gonna, you know, figure out how much interest they're gonna charge you. Now, for me, um, you know, uh, my credit's really well. I've been having a credit for a long time, um, so my credit's pretty well. So the cool thing about this is that one of my machines, I got nine of them, but one of them that I actually have, um, I bought. I bought actually on a credit card, yeah. which is pretty cool, right? And the cool thing about that is that the same month, it paid itself off. Yeah. Which is pretty. Well, cool. it's pretty. It's pretty common. Yeah, so think about it, right? If you guys have a credit card, right? You guys can get your machine, put it in a location, it'll pay for itself, right? It'll pay for itself for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so it's insane that, you know, OPM, like basically credit card, that's, that's basically bank's money for sure. It's other people's money, Yeah. right? And here's, here's the funny thing. Your ATM is essentially a bank. You're like, it's you know, part. bank of Eric, bank of, you know, Josh. Like your ATM, you're acting as a bank. So if you can get a bank to act as a bank, so you can act as a bank, <laughs> you can make a lot of money. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. That's the cool thing about it. Um, you're really, like I said, what I like to say is like, I'm pretty sure everybody on this live feed mm -hmm. has at one point in their life, let a friend borrow money, right? Yeah. Right? I let you borrow money, you let me borrow money at one point, right? We just didn't have it, we needed cash, right? So essentially that's the same thing you're doing right now. You're letting people borrow your money, right? 
but you're automatically right getting you know uh, interest right instant interest I call it instant interest right you're automatically getting interest so all you're basically doing right now is letting people borrow your money and charging a fee which is pretty cool yeah that's it that's all it is you're Very your own simple. little bank that's it yeah there you go you Very know cool. so that's basically obviously you know as far as like the income it depends like I said how much money you want to make right ATMs you can get them obviously you know with other people's money or if you have money in the bank saved up Cool. An average machine car probably costs between like maybe a thousand, right, mm -hmm. to fifteen hundred bucks, right? Yeah. Um, depends. But like I said, you know, you have to be careful when you're buying machines because you don't want to get the wrong ones. Uh, I, you don't want to get you don't want to get an old beat up one. No. You don't want to get one that's been abused. You don't, don't want to get one that's service. Yeah. You don't want to get one that's easy to hack. Yeah. You, know, you want your money protected and safe. Uh, and we ran the numbers. It's not very often that happens. I think we talked to some um, big, you know, ATM corporations and done the stats. I think you know people actually gain money from it because there's some people that ask you know like oh what about my money is it safe is it dangerous you know the reality is uh, I think it was like less than one percent of like cases I think actually way less actually uh, I think like less than half a percent of people actually have had money stolen from the ATM because here's why one you gotta undrill it from the ground it's, it's you know you got, the yeah you gotta get a crane <laughs> you gotta Go, you gotta get into the building first. It's like pouring it Yeah, you gotta get a crane, you gotta put it in a truck, you gotta, you know, there's, you would cost you more money to steal an ATM than the actual money that's in the ATM. So it's very rare. But if you do take the wrong ATMs, the ones that are outdated, and you don't like follow somebody that's actually gotten ATMs before that actually work, um, you could get one that may be easy to hack or something like that. So it's important that you choose yeah. the right ATMs. Like I said, it's a no risk business as long as you know what you're doing. If you wanna, you know, it's, it's very like, it's like this, man. For example, I went to Vegas last month, no, a few months ago, we did a mastermind out there and we went to this place called Top Golf. You know, oh, I, I Top Golf. Yeah, I've never been like golfing. I don't know how to golf. Yeah. Right? And so everybody's like trying to show me, I think it was actually my buddy Vinny, he was actually trying to show me how to golf and he used the correct form. And I was like, dude, I got this, I'm strong, watch me whack this out the, the park. And then I go and I don't want to listen to anybody, I don't want to learn from anybody. And I do it with the wrong form, I pull a muscle right here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, Fuck. You know, for like the whole like next few days, I'm super sore. It was because I didn't listen to somebody that you know was able to tell me what to do and do it the right way. So because of that, you know, I went and I was being ignorant and you know trying to do it on my own without following strategy, and I got hurt. Yeah. So you know, if you if you do the wrong things, you don't listen, you don't look for the right information, then you're gonna get hurt. That's just so a matter of time. Stuff. That's just life. Sure. That's what everything in life. Yeah. You go take you go start driving and you've never you know done your driver's <laughs> test. You never got your permit. You're gonna fucking crash. <laughs> it's common sense. Yeah. Actually, you know? actually. So the thing about it is like. You have to know what you're doing, right? In, into anything. And the best thing, if I had to start all over, bro, man, I would just obviously reach out to somebody that was already doing it, successful at it, mm -hmm. and ask for help. Obviously, you know, drop the ego, ask for help, and basically do exactly as they tell you to do. Why? Because they've done it already. Yeah. Right? And that's how we're doing this video. Yeah, and that's exactly mm -hmm. what I want to show you guys so you guys don't make the same mistakes that, you know, I made most of the time, you know, getting started. And I don't want you guys to lose out on, you know, basically making the same as I did. Um, losing so that's, money. Yeah, losing money, losing time, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and then getting discouraged when you never know, you know, if you just did it the right way the first time from somebody else that could have taught you, you Good. could have you could have a successful ATM business for sure. Yeah. You know, or just in anything, right? So yeah. that's exactly why we made, you know, obviously you're making this video and giving you guys this information as well, you know. So mm -hmm. um, as far as that, do you want to answer some questions? Yeah, I was going to say a third way. Oh, guys, okay, go for it, go for is it. Uh, third way is if you know, go into a business partner that already has capital. So you know, friend, family, go into you know, yeah, true. go into business with somebody that's willing to provide capital if you don't have any money. You know, like I said, so these two ways right here, so I'll really write, um, you know, business partner. So go to business partner with somebody that actually has money, whether it's your parents, whether it's somebody that you know that has, you know, just tons of money sitting in the bank. Um, this yeah. is how you make essentially free money. Because why? One, the investments are gonna pay for themselves. Like I said, there's no risk. Like there's no losing money, guys. In this, no losing money. No, it's actually you, the best thing for an investor. So if you guys can go approach an investor, it's how you do it. Think about it. All you're using that money for is to put inside your machines. Yeah. So the thing about it is that if you go to a bank and you're, you're getting a loan from a bank, guess what? You're not really spending the money. You're recycling it. You're yeah. putting it in the machine, right? Mm -hmm. And if you ever want to pay the loan back, the money's right there in your machine. Yeah, you just go back. back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. So let's say everything. Let's say you just you know. You don't follow the instructions, you do everything wrong, you try to go off and do it yourself, and you just do everything wrong, you spend all this money, you at least get a decent ATM that doesn't get hacked, but you put it in a place that gets zero customers every day, and the place goes out of business, and you're like, damn, I'm not making any money. Well, all you do is walk up to your ATM, open it up, you know, take your, take your money out, 
Come walk away and you're good to go. That's pretty much it. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's not that hard. Yeah, you can take your machine anywhere. It's your property. You can move it whenever you want. Just because it's inside of a business, it has to stay there. Yeah. You, know, you can move it around. I had a location that wasn't doing well. I literally picked it up, put it on a dolly, right? Took it to the other business, <laughs> right? And now it's making me money. You can take it anywhere you want. It's your mm -hmm. ATM. It's your mini bank. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, obviously, like I said, there goes your question, right? There's three different ways that you can actually, you know, purchase ATM, which is pretty cool. I saw, I saw somebody asking, you know, can you do it at 16? You can do this as long as you know how to walk. As long as, <laughs> as, long as you know how to walk, pretty much. as long as you have a bank account. Yeah. I mean, like, there's nobody that says, like, Hey, you're not allowed to give anybody money because you're under 18. Like that doesn't. There's doesn't no happen. police that do that. Yeah. No, yeah. There's no. Like you know, ATM. Like, police. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good to go. If you're 16, uh, you can do it. Um, let's see, if you guys have questions, comment. We'll look, look through. Anything else you think of? Uh, let me try to think. Uh, oh, you know, I got I got a question. So somebody asked me. Um, one of my buddies that wants to get involved in the business was asking me. Asking me, I like, will do. Well, how am I actually gonna make money? What do people want to just do like cash back? You know, at a store and get money from that. Um, so here's what you guys gotta realize. One, we live in 2018, guys. This is 2018. The most important thing that people care about is time. Yes. Time is the most important thing. The convenience, the most important thing. Like people, you know, they value that more than money. They value that more than anything else in this world. So why would somebody go out of their way to go buy something to get cash back? And most places don't do more than 20 bucks cash back. Yeah. I would say 90% of places I've seen, actually, yeah, low key, maybe more actually. Um, I've never seen a place that does more than 20 bucks cash back. So if somebody needs to pull out 40 bucks, well, you're fucked. You know? So, <laughs> so why would some, you're gonna have to do like multiple different transactions and you're gonna end sure. up spending, one, you're gonna end up spending more money than actually using the ATM. Two, um, you're doing something that's not convenient and you're going out of your way to get something done. And three, it just like, it just doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make <laughs> like, sense. It just doesn't make sense. you're already the business, why would you leave the business? Yeah. <laughs> At least, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm lazy, so I'm just like, yo, I'm yeah, just gonna use this right just, here. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm not gonna go pay money at another store just to get cash back and go back to, like too yeah, much. Yeah, so that just doesn't make sense. I mean, think about it, we um, get food delivered, right? We get yeah. pizza delivered, right? I get my food delivered every day. All my meals just delivered straight to my house and we knock some door in the morning. They, the place is right down the street. Yeah. I can drive there in about 30 seconds. I can walk there maybe four minutes. And it's actually funny, because Jeff was like, bro, why would you get your food delivered when you can just go down the street? I'm like, why would I go down 14 floors, start up my car, drive for 30 seconds <laughs> to pick up food and come back to my house? Yeah, like exactly. when somebody could just knock on my door. And I, I literally woke up this morning because I, I heard somebody knocking. And I was like, oh shit. Came to the door and he's like, here's your food for the day. <laughs> and was it worth the extra five bucks that you paid for oh, that service? Yeah, 100%. Convenience, yeah. right? <laughs> Time, right? So that's obviously, that, hopefully that answered that question. Yeah. Um, um, oh, another common question I think too. Um, this was the big question for me when I wanted to get involved in this business and Eric first told me about it before he sent me like a roadmap and you know a business breakdown I was like, dude, how does this actually work? Like yeah, because what I thought was like, okay If somebody's pulling money out of an ATM, they're taking out my money How am I gonna get paid if they're taking my money? Right, and maybe that's just me thinks that bro right. I just I didn't process that first but then I was like, oh, right, this actually makes perfect sense because why if somebody's going to the ATM They're using a debit card. They're using a credit card, right? right. And if they're pulling out money that money has to come from their bank. It's not just right. coming from you know the middle of the air. <laughs> it has to come from their bank. Yeah. So the ATM makes a connection with the bank. It verifies that they have the money. In their bank account. Right, that they have the money in the bank account. And then the ATM essentially loans the person that money. Right. The bank gives back and pays back your ATM on behalf of the person that pulled out money. Exactly. So essentially the, the ATM is actually making a loan for the bank and the bank is paying back ATM. We're pretty yeah. much flipping the role. Most people go to the bank to get loans. Well, we pretty much do like is there is and for most of you guys that are entrepreneurs you guys might hate this but here's the thing if somebody pulls money out of your ATM they can't get a refund and they can't charge back and fraud you know uh, fraudulently if that's how you say it I get, I I <laughs> they, can't, they can't commit fraud on your money no. once they take the money out it's your curse like it's yours like nobody can commit fraud on your ATM Nobody can just be like, oh man, you know, I'm gonna call my bank and you know tell them I want a refund on that fifty dollars I pulled out. You pulled it out. <laughs> you put your pin in. Like, yeah, hey, you know? like it just it's just the way it is. That's the cool part about it is that it's a cash business. It's a cash business. Essentially yeah. it's a cash business. You know, you don't get refunds on you know marijuana that you buy and smoke because you don't like it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's a cash business. That's not how it works. That's no. why that's why it's a cash business. You know Absolutely. Right? And that's exactly why you need to have a bank account because your machine comes programmed uh, with your account number and your routing numbers. Automatically, when somebody takes money out of your machine, that money gets debited from their account and credited to your bank account instantly, which is pretty cool. So, 
Um, obviously, you know, this is business. It's like I said, there's, I'm not the only one doing this. There's a lot of people doing this out there. They probably hate that I'm actually showing you the business, actually. Um, you know, all and, people, so. Yeah. Might not know, probably never even know where we did this. Yeah, obviously. And, <laughs> they're not uh, on social media. The people that know this information, is not, they're not on here telling people. They're definitely not. And nobody out there is teaching you how to do this business. So, um, well, obviously, if you guys are interested in this, um, like I said, if you see, you can see yourself doing this. Like I said, if I can do it, I'm not a genius, right? Josh, not a genius, right? We're just obviously, see, it's a business model that's already been working, right? And it's a proven system, so all you really gotta do is plug in. It's plug in, plug in and play, right? Plug in and play, plug into the system, follow the system, you can have the same results, if not better, and if not faster. You know, so if you wanna take some questions, we can take yeah, some questions. Yeah, so I see somebody wanted to ask, what's the fee? Um, it just depends. Some of the places, they're actually, we don't, so like, what's the fee for like the business owner? So some of the places we give the business owners a small percentage, other places we don't, just because they need an ATM and it's more convenient for them. It all depends. So it just depends on your, nego yeah. your negotiating skills and the demand and the supply, the supply and demand factor um, for that business owner that has the ATM. Um, another question I was saying is, uh, let's see, you don't have to put the machines. So we have somebody put the machines there for us. We don't Installed. have to manually do it. You, yeah. When you do the machine, when you get it into a business, they do it for you. They install it for so you. So you don't have to you know, pick up a $400 or a 400 pound machine and carry it and no. put it down and no. drill it. That's not what you have to do. Um, let's see. So LLC is all you need. Um, yeah. yeah, an LLC, I mean, if you wanted to do it in your personal bank account, you can. Uh, but it's just safer to protect yourself in your LLC. For that sure. way you can actually build a real business out of it for tax purposes as well. Um, let's see, can someone with new credit get the money to start up? Yeah, man, yeah, as long absolutely. as you get approved, easily. Absolutely. Um, how do we get the ATM inside of the place where you talk to? You're gonna wanna talk to the business owner. Um, this is when networking, this is when following is, you know, an actual script. You know, we actually created scripts that we use. We use the same script every time. It works every time when we go into a business. Mm -hmm. So, you know, follow a script that, you know, is created, that works, that's proven and just literally use that script to talk to the business owner and boom, done deal. It's not that hard. No, it's not. You know, it's it's not hard. How, I mean, literally bro, like how hard is it to convince somebody to help them make more money and get Yeah, cash? because think about it, you're paying for the machine, you're paying for the money in it, you're gonna obviously, you know, give the, the business convenience to the customers of having, you know, being able to take out cash. The business owner gets more cash flow, every business owner wants more cash flow. Yeah. And um, if that, if, and, and, and that, keep, that, keep, that was enough right there. But keeping if, people in stores too. Keeping people in their business, from walking out their business. And that, if that's not enough, well, you can, the business owner can make money too yeah. as well. You know? So it's like, it's a really easy sale. It's not even you're selling it. You're basically explaining the process and they're like, oh, so I basically, you know, get more money inside my business and I even can get make money on, my, on money being inside my business. It's like a no brainer for the business owner. So I have a couple of strategies that you guys can use um, that we teach um, on how to get business owners to say yes right away and even over the phone as well, which is pretty cool and how to actually target or where to go, where, where, where our business owner is actually at, you know, so you can actually talk to them in person. You don't have to go business to business, it's pretty cool. Um, any other questions? Um, let's see. Yeah. yeah, so I see a lot of you guys, so I know we don't have too much time left for the live feed to keep on going, um, but you know, people are asking, you know, where to buy ATMs and stuff like that, because you gotta be careful, obviously, right. um, when choosing ATMs, what is it called, let's see. Um, so pretty much, it's actually really funny. So when, so Eric was probably bugging me about this business for probably what three, four, five months before I actually got involved. And I was just like, the whole time, I didn't actually, no, like he didn't break it down like this to me right now. And so I was just like, dude, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Like, how does that even make sense? How can you actually make money? Like, there's no way you can actually make that much money uh, with an ATM. You know, it was, like, it was like a foreign business model for me. I never heard about it before. You know, maybe you're like that right now. Like, I never heard about this and you want to ask a lot of questions. That's how I was. Right. And um, I just wasn't able to get all that information at first. And so what I had Eric do, I was like, dude, I was like, put together like a roadmap, put together like a business plan, like put together like everything step by step, like what the, excuse my language, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, and I'll check it out. And so after a few days, he sent me something, uh, he, he emailed it to me and I didn't check my email at first for uh, a while. And then he kept, kept hitting me up, like, yo, do you check, do you check? I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, dude, check your email. So I check my email, I see the freaking, the roadmap, the business plan he put together, and I read through it and I'm like, Oh, I'm down. Now it makes sense. Yeah, I was like, I'm down. Like, I was like, let's go. Like, dude, I got money sitting in the bank. Let's do this. Yeah. And um, so it's funny that that happened. Um, and then we went live last time we were talking about this. And people were like, dude, like, is there any more information? Da, da, da. So I was just like, yo, Eric. I was like, that ATM you sent me, I was like, dude, let's just get that. And let's just, like, make it a little bit more simple and easy for people to understand. And, like, we'll just give it out for free. Right. Yeah. And so that's pretty much what we did. We don't have it um, at this moment. 
But if you guys are interested, um, you know, a lot of these questions I'm asking, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna go over them on this live video because he already made it in a roadmap for me to understand it, and then we even made it even more simple for anybody to understand it. We're gonna, we're gonna release it. So unless you're watching the YouTube video, because we're gonna have this on YouTube later, guys, um, then it'll be done by then. We're, yeah, we're gonna true. revise it. We have to put it in a way so that you can download it, because um, right now it's just pretty much sitting in my email. Yeah. Um, but if you guys, you know, if you're watching the live feed, just stay tuned. You know, watch our Snapchats, you know, Instagram stories live feeds, you know, stay tuned on the social media, the podcast, the YouTube, because we're going to talk about it. But if you're watching the YouTube video right now, there's going to be a link in the description. You can download the free roadmap. And uh, we're going to be working with a few people. We've been working with about three people so far, people that went to Eric's um, school. What was that? Was it high school? What? The people? The people that we're working with for their ATMs? Oh, yeah. No, actually, just met, actually. Oh, met up with their friends. Oh, met up friends? I met through actual other business ventures. Oh, okay. I thought they went yeah. to your school. But yeah, so working with three people, um, Eric's kind of been taking them like you know through the ropes and kind of helping them get started with their ATM business because it is a process. It'll take you about a month to you know, actually you know get going and really start actually making money, um, So which is not that long. Some people think a month is a long time to make a lot of money. Uh, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, if you think about it, you know, the average person goes to college for four years and then might go to college again for another four years, and then go do like residency or do like an internship for two years just to make the money that you can make, you know, with freaking three ATM machines. So, I mean, I don't know, it just depends on your patience level. I know a lot of millennials, <laughs> they're not really that patient. No, if you learn patience, um, you can make a lot of money. That's something that I learned uh, yeah, absolutely. through some hard lessons. <laughs> no, <it laughs> through some sense. hard lessons. Um, but we're working with them, so probably within the next, you know, week or two, they're, they're going to be, you know, up, ready to go, have multiple machines, making money. Um, and I think what we're going to do is, you know, take some of the people that we gave the free roadmap to and then train them, maybe put together like a little course and then actually coach them as well. Um, kind of show them exactly how we do it, you know, like a day-to-day -day thing, maybe like a private Facebook group where everybody kind of works together, like a community. That's a definite, um, you know, definite maybe definite goal. Or something like yeah, that. I definitely want to create at least three success stories. Yeah. You know, for sure, for the ATM business. Not just to show you that I'm not... I'm not the only one that can do this. Anybody can really do yeah. it, you know, as and long as you have the right direction. And helping people scale, you know, because not everybody wants to make, you know, because we just showed you guys, you know, how to make 3,000 and how to make 9,000. This is three machines, guys. We already have like over 10 machines out and we just signed a deal with, like I said, this guy, he's a multimillionaire. He owns 30 marijuana dispensaries. These are high volume cash places um, for 30 machines. Right. So we're at two down. We're going to be installing the rest soon. That, do the math. I don't machines. even tell them, bro. They don't even tell them. They were, it's, it's, just, it's gonna make it too unbelievable. <laughs> I don't want to get. I don't want to get them all skeptical and stuff. It's a lot of money. It's, it's a ton of money. It's definitely a ton of money. So I mean, if you guys can do some math, just this, just times this times thirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, and that's just that's just one deal, guys. Um, and that's like something again. We're not really doing anything. Like once the deal is closed, all we're doing is literally getting the machines, and then they're getting installed by other people that are not us. And then we put the money in there one time, make sure it's good to go, and then we're gonna pay somebody. Once you guys get to this level, now I would say maybe around once you get to you know three to five machines, you start making ten to fifteen thousand a month. Then you can start hiring people to kind of manage it. For sure. Um, you know, if you're only doing a few, you just want to make ten thousand a month. Um, it's not that big of a deal to take three to four hours a month to refill it. Um, if you if you can't you know spend three hours a month to make three thousand a month. Um, you're a pretty lazy fuck. Honestly, this business is not for you. Like, yeah, if you can't yeah, spend yeah. a couple hours a month to make three thousand, like this business is not for you. Yeah. And you know, I know some people might be butthurt about that, but that's just the reality. Of it. That's, why, that's why a lot of people don't make a lot of money because they're lazy. Yeah. You, know, you guys look for the easy way. Yes, this is no risk. Yes, this is like you know something that anybody can do. But if you're just looking for an easy way and you're not like actually serious about it, and you're just gonna leave your ATM there with zero money in it, so people can't get money, you're not gonna make money. I like to say it's not easy. It's not hard. It's simple. That's it. 100%. That's all it really is. That's the best way I can explain it. You know? so, so we'll wrap it up. I think my Instagram's about to time me out soon. We don't have much time. For sure. So, um, so, so for your followers, let me just say they can get, yeah. follow, follow me on uh, on Instagram. So if yeah. you haven't already, my Instagram is Jet Set Eric. Right um, yeah, I'll write for you guys. Think you guys have it. Um, Instagram Jet Set Super small. Eric. Jet Set Eric. Boom. Snapchat. Writing weird. <laughs> Eric nine two. So Snapchat, Instagram. So make sure you guys are following. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what that was, <laughs> but um, Snapchat, <laughs> Instagram. Um, but make sure you guys are following. We're going to be doing a lot of these uh, live feeds. We're going to be posting a lot of free content for you guys. More information on the business. And uh, with that, man, I want to wish you guys a happy Friday. Be safe tonight. And hopefully you guys got some value from that. Yep. And for those of you guys that are watching on YouTube or listening to my podcast, by the time this is out, um, we'll have that roadmap put together for you guys. Um, finish going through it. We'll have it. There'll be a link in the description. If you're watching this live, 
go to my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube, search Josh King Madrid on YouTube, and uh, you'll see the video right when it's out. Like I said, we're not going to be working with everybody on this. Because mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't have enough time. Yeah, there's no way we can do that. You know, there's, three, probably, I think three. there's probably hundreds, there's hundreds of people that want to get involved with this. Um, but here's the thing. So, and like I said, we'll have the free roadmap. We'll give you guys everything that you need to know, like how the business works for free. Mm -hmm. um, but if we do start training people, when we do start working with people, um, we are going to charge for it. We're not going to make it a lot, but we want a lot of people to be able to do this. But we're also going to make it worth our time. So for sure, yeah. You know I mean, so because we're not, we're not. This is not one of those things, guys. That's just going to be, you know, this is it. You know, buy, we got money type of thing. No, um, we're basically kind of, guaranteed. Yeah, this is guaranteed. Results. We want, we want you guys yeah. to actually see results. We want you guys to be able to ask questions. We want you guys to actually be able to work for people um, yeah. that can be able to help you. So that's time. Um, so you know, that way it's just a little bit easier because I know you know getting started with nobody. A lot of you guys got questions right now. A lot of questions. So getting started and not being able to have somebody to ask questions to. Um, makes it a little bit more difficult. So if you have somebody to help you, guide you, and show you on how to make money with something that's zero risk, um, then that's a huge, huge opportunity for you. Um, so with that said, guys, we'll wrap it up. Thank you for watching this live feed. If you so, have any more questions, reach out to us on social media. We'll try to get back to you. And make sure you guys stay tuned uh, for that free roadmap. It'll be in the link below. So talk to you guys soon. Boom, baby.